Hey, Christ United Kids, happy Easter. This is our Easter Big House Edition, and we are so excited that you're here today. Now, I know that Easter is normally full of cute little Easter dresses, Easter eggs, maybe lots of candy and spending time with your family. This Easter is gonna be a little different, and that's not the reason we celebrate Easter anyway. We celebrate Easter here at the Big House by celebrating that Jesus is alive. And it's big news. Speaking of news, let's check in with our newscast. This is Bridget Miller from Roman Cable News. I am coming live from Jerusalem where something truly unbelievable and some would say miraculous has happened. Jesus, the King of the Jews, has allegedly risen from the dead. You will recall my interview with both Pilate and Officer Dean just this past Friday. Both were eyewitnesses to the man named Jesus of Nazareth's crucifixion. Let's watch the clip from Friday. Pilate, thank you so much for being with us today. I know you are a very busy man. My producers tell me that you have turned over Jesus of Nazareth to be crucified. What exactly is he being charged with? Well, those charges are still very unclear. C King Herod and myself have found no real grounds for him to be executed. But the elders, chief, chief priests, and teachers of the law insist that he has committed a very great crime. I see. So... Is it in your opinion that an innocent man is going to be crucified today? Well, I, I, l l let's see. Um, I would prefer not to comment on that, but I will say that I just did what the people wanted. I'm sorry, but that's all, that, that is all that I have the time to say today. Well, thank you for your time, Pilot. Looks like we have Officer Dean with us again today. Officer Dean. In your own words, can you please explain what you witnessed today? I'll do my best, Bridget. It's been a long, emotional day. See, I was called in today because there was an angry mob outside of Pilate's place. Jesus had just been arrested, and neither Pilate or Herod could figure out why. Pilate tried to have Jesus released, but the crowd just kept yelling, Crucify him! Pilate just shared with me that the crowd wanted convicted murderer Barabbas set free instead of Jesus. That's right. I just don't understand it. You know, the crowd of people was overtaken with rage and anger toward Jesus. You know, they were out for blood. So, so what happened next? Jesus, along with two other criminals, were led to the place called Skull, where they were all crucified. That's just awful. What was the crowd's reaction to this brutal execution? Well, there was some women that followed him, mourning and crying, and there were these rulers and soldiers that they were just making jokes and yelling for him to save himself because he was the king of the Jews. I know this might be difficult, Officer Dean, but eyewitnesses tell me that you were there when Jesus took his last breath. I was. The sun had completely quit shining, and darkness was all around us. Jesus called out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And then he took his last breath. I knew at that time that Jesus was a righteous man. Thank you, Officer Dean, for taking the time with us today. You heard it here first. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, who told us last week he was here to save us, has taken his last breath on earth. It has been three days since we aired the news of Jesus' death, and today we have received breaking news that Jesus of Nazareth is alive. We have two eyewitnesses on the line now. Here they are. Thank you, ladies, for being with us today. My producers tell me that you went to the tomb where Jesus was buried in order to prepare his body. Tell us, what did you find when you arrived? It was absolutely amazing. On the way to the tomb, we discussed who had rolled the stone away from the entrance, but we weren't sure we were strong enough. When we got to the tomb, the stone was already rolled away. So we went inside the tomb, and suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning were standing beside us. We were terrified. It was so scary. 
We fall to the ground. But the men asked us why we were looking for the living among the dead. They told us that Jesus was not there and that he was alive. They told us that Jesus has risen, just as he said he would. They told us to go and tell his disciples that Jesus was alive. That just seems unbelievable. Are you sure that you were at the right tomb? We're sure. Absolutely positive. Okay, we have Jesus' disciple and friend Peter, also known as The Rock, here with us. It's good to be here. I can't, I, I gotta share the good news with you guys and the world. Jesus is alive. Peter, how can this be? I have spoken with several eyewitnesses who saw Jesus being crucified. In fact, we just watched a very emotional testimony of Officer Dean, who saw with his own eyes Jesus taking his last breath. How, how can he be alive? There's only one answer to that, Bridget, and that's that Jesus is God's one and only son. Jesus was sent on earth to be the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Not even death could contain him. He is the savior of the world. Wait a minute. Are you saying that Jesus dying a horrific and brutal death was part of God's plan to save me? That's exactly what I'm saying, Bridget. Today, we celebrate because Jesus is alive. Well, you heard it here first. Not even death could, t could contain the power of Jesus. He is the savior of the world. Guys, how amazing is Jesus? He came to this earth and died on the cross for our sins. And that reminds me of my favorite Bible verse, John 3:16. I had some of my friends send me a video of them saying it this week. Let's check out those videos. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him might not perish but have eternal life. So... so God had loved the world that he had given his only begotten son, who believed in him should not be perish, perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16. Love you, Miss Sarah. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Guys, I know that this Easter may have felt very different. You may not have been able to be around some of your family. You definitely didn't get to get up this morning and get all dressed up and go to church like you normally do. And honestly, you might just be tired of being stuck in your house, but we still need to celebrate and give thanks for that very first Easter Sunday when the ladies went to Jesus' tomb and learned that he is alive and that Jesus took all of our sins and our punishment on the cross so that we can have a relationship with him. Jesus wants us to celebrate him and more importantly, he wants us to ask him to come into our hearts and our lives and to be changed. He is calling each of us to walk with him, to obey him, and to tell others about him. Jesus is the greatest thing about Easter. And I hope that you are all just starting to learn, if you're just starting to learn about him, if you're just starting to feel his presence, that you're gonna keep on praying, that you're gonna keep reading your Bible, and that more importantly, you're gonna keep telling others all that he has done for us. Let's bow our heads and pray, guys. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much. We thank you that you died on the cross for our sins. We thank you that death could not even keep you down, but that you are alive. Lord, we ask that you will come into our hearts and into our lives and that you will change us. Make us who you want us to be, Lord. Help us to live with you by our side in all we do and all we say. And all God's children said, amen. All right. Don't forget to check out the Family Secret Guide for this week. Grab your family, go to Christ is Love, click on the Discipleship tab, and scroll down until you find the Family Secret Guide. This guide is going to help you and your family talk more about Easter and why it's so important. 
Also, don't forget to check out the Christ United Kids YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to it and turn your notifications on so that you don't miss any of the daily devotions. I'll see you next week.